Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Jerson. I really do hope everyone's having a great day. Before anything, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe if you guys like my content. I would really appreciate it. This is a topic that I've wanted to cover for a while now and it's colorism. And according to the NCCJ, colorism is a practice of discrimination by which those with lighter skin are treated more favorably than those with darker skin. This practice is a product of racism in the United States in that it upholds the white standards of beauty and benefits white people in the institutions of oppression, media, medical world, etc. Now, uh, one thing to clarify from that definition that they have is that this didn't originate in the US alone. It's like a worldwide thing. It's all over the world. And in this specific video, I'm gonna be talking about the colorism in Latin America. So I wanna go way back in time to the age of exploration and really just start from there. Since in the Americas, there was no form of really colorism, like in East Asia, where the elites would stay indoors and the working class would be outdoors, working obviously in the sun and obviously getting a much darker complexion than the elites who stayed indoors. Uh, none of that really existed in the Americas. Everything was kind of equal there. Everybody kind of had this, everyone was outside, you know, and doing their thing. And, and then after that, the Spanish attacked and they kind of drained the most beautiful capital in the Western hemisphere being uh, Mexico City, which was back then called Tenochtitlan. And yeah, it was kind of pretty, it was really nice, but you know, that's another topic for another video. And once they came, they kind of uh, introduced this, uh, this class system. It was like a pyramid basically. And all the way at the top were the people that were born in Spain and all the way in the bottom were the people that were either slaves brought from West Africa or the indigenous people that were already there. And this was to make sure that like, you know, the whites basically had like supreme power over like all their land basically. And, and yeah, that was, that was basically what happened. And yeah, they kind of put up this caste system and it was really awful and all uh, through all those generations through all that like you know intermarrying was really a thing because the indigenous and the descendants of african slaves kind of saw that by intermarrying with these white spaniards they could get higher up in that caste system and like the society basically and this was sad because it was causing all of these all these people to kind of like lose and lose and lose more of their own traditions over time and it wasn't good at all <laughs> so then now there's a lot of colorism and in especially 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 the media of latin america there's absolutely no dark skin representation be it in tv be it in very popular music, like, I mean popular music, and and things like that, there's absolutely, like, no representation. It's, it's really just these white, like, the white people, the white minority of these places understand that, like, most of these places have a white minority and, like, a very indigenous majority mostly of the time and mixed majority as well. And they only show the most fraction of the most smallest part of these places, which doesn't represent these places at all because they're just so diverse and so colorful. And it's a very, it's very not, it's very not good because when these children start to start to see these like stars and see these musicians and see these models that are people that are not even their own complexion, they start to doubt their own beauty, which is not good at all. And it really starts affecting people at a young age and then the perpetuation of having to marry into those groups so you can be up there with those people, it's even worse. And it kind of just raises this really unhealthy habit of not like liking your skin tone, which brings me to another topic. So whitening is a practice that's 
that's very rampant in the Latino society and in other places as well, but like it's pre it is present in in Latino society because you see these creams, you see these exfoliants, like all, all these things for the purpose, for the only purpose of like brightening one's skin. And most of these things are unsafe, unhealthy, and it usually ends up causing these really bad skin reactions with, and it's honestly really, really blurry topic. It's very straightforward as well, and it can get to psychological things, it can get to like vanity of just being paler, more European basically. That's the goal of a lot of Latin American places to look more European. It's not like in East Asia where the goal is just to be lighter in complexion, but not like not really to look different. It's in Latin America and also the Philippines. It's just the sole purpose of trying to be more European, more, more European, basically more white and and that's not good. <laughs> As a native person myself, I really wanna, I wanna, I really wanna bring out the true side of Latin America, that it's not just this very vague term of being Hispanic or Latino. One can be Hispanic and be literally any race possible. Latino is just literally being a part of the culture below the U.S. And being Hispanic is the shared culture between like the people of the Spanish-speaking countries, it kind of excluding Brazil and like other small countries in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just really wanna be able to share, be able to make aware that this problem exists literally everywhere, literally everywhere. And it, it has to be slowed down. It has to be stopped. <laughs> and, and yeah. All your fault, Spaniards, in the Americas. You destroyed it. It looked like this, but now it looks like this. Ugh, but that's a whole nother topic. I'll definitely be making another video on that. And if you liked what I do, and if you liked today's video, definitely give me a like button. And if you wanna see more videos that I wanna make, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.